After its Scandinavian adventure, the UCI Women's World Tour headed back down south to France for round 21, the Grand Prix de Plouet in the heart of Brittany. Totaling 125.5 kilometres, the punchy course saw the riders tackle four 27.7 kilometre laps before a final shorter loop into the finish, covered in short and sharp ascents. As a native of the region, local favourite Audrey Cordon was particularly looking forward to the day. I'm super, super excited. I was, really, I was already ready one, one hour before going with the team uh, to this morning at the hotel. And yeah, being here for me is so special. I have all my family, friends and, and fans coming here for me to cheer for me. And I will uh, hear a lot of Audrey on the side of the road today. So it's super exciting. It's super nice. And I just hope the weather will stay dry. But yeah, anyway, I'm just super, super happy to be there and, and to race here. I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, Pulwe is always an uh, awesome race. Um, it's a hard course, um, so it's often a very tactical race. And yeah, today we have a strong team, and of course uh, we're looking forward to the race and um, to lighting it up. Hopefully, we can um, create some excitement for the people watching. Yeah, I feel confident and feeling good. It's been a good season, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing it off on a high. And um, GP Pulwe is, is one of the, the last races of the season, so it's really cool. Well, the lead up to this race has been uh, been really good. We had a couple of good weeks with the team as well, so uh, yeah, that uh, gives some good motivation for today. And this is a uh, it's a beautiful race. It's always so uh, one of the highlights of the calendar. So um, yeah, looking forward. It was a big surprise taking the leader jersey after Norway. Uh, I was uh, not really close, but then uh, of course grabbing the overall and three stage victories made me jump over. And um, yeah, it's. Uh, it's a, it's a big honor to be riding in the in the leader jersey and I'll try to uh, to do as good as possible today. The bunch rolled out of Plouay on dry roads ahead of their trip through the Breton countryside before building up a brisk pace that meant an early breakaway proved nearly impossible to establish. Svela Bigler's Lotte Lepisto was one of the riders to test her legs off the front during the first few laps. But nobody was able to stay away as the person began the final big loop. With 30 kilometres remaining, however, BTC City's Hannah Nilsson decided to launch a solo attack out of the pack and quickly gained 18 seconds. Having suffered with injury through much of the season, the Swedish rider's effort was hugely impressive. But with Cervelo Bigler driving things behind, it was only 5 kilometres before she too was brought back. Not long after, though, the fireworks finally began. As the penultimate ride up Tia Mayak climb saw Ashley Mormon Passio put in several hard digs that strung the pack out before they entered the final small loop with 14.7 kilometres left. Not long after, her Cervelo teammate Clara Koppenberg showed her strength with a brief bid for freedom before the final ascent of Tia Mayak saw yet more action. With Cassia Nuodoma trying to go alone, Google High Fives Elisa Longo Borghini reacted with an attack of her own and had to be chased down by World Tour leader Mariana Voss before the rest of the reduced pack caught up. Movistar's French champion Aude Bienek was next to make her move, followed by Bowles Dolman's rider Megan Garnier and Longo Borghini again before another attack by Mormon Passio whittled down the bunch yet further as they approached the final kilometre. With the favourites keeping each other in close check, it looked like the chances of a breakaway win were all but gone at that stage. But that did little to deter Ali Cipollini's Janneke Ensing. A bold move saw the Dutch woman entering the finishing straight alone up front. But with the chasers behind quickly eating up her advantage, it was clear that things were heading for a bunch sprint. As Ensing was caught with 200 metres left, her compatriot Mariana Voss surged ahead, but didn't have the speed on this occasion to match Amy Peters, the Bowles Dolman's rider hitting the line first to secure her third World Tour victory this season. Voss had to settle for second, while Sunweb's Corinne Rivera came in third. Bayanic, meanwhile, was the best French placed rider in 14th. It was uh, nervous the last kilometer when the girl from Cipollini she attacked and Mecca and my teammates she did a really good job in the last part and I could totally trust her and I thought okay I, need to, I have to gamble now because otherwise you lose anyway and then we start sprinting and 
Yeah, I was faster than the others. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised. I didn't expect it that I could win this race because I'm here because yeah, we have not done as riders at the moment. So I'm really happy that I uh, can take the win. I know this is a really fast run in, and as you can take the speed from the yeah from the little bump, then it's uh, it's very helpful. Uh, but I still came too early, and Amy came around, and I know she's very very powerful and strong. So uh, yeah, second. It's uh, my second time racing here and my first podium here, so I think uh, the girls and I can be really happy with uh, the effort that we put in today. I was in kind of the right place, uh, but got a little bit boxed in and I had to hit the brakes just a smidge, so missed a little moment there, but uh, yeah, maybe slowly but surely I'll uh, learn how to get this race. Confirmation then of the top 10 with Canyon Sram's Alina Shekini, the best of the rest in fourth, ahead of Michigan Scott's Amanda Spratt. In the World Tour rankings, Voss' second place finish sees her extend her lead over Anna van der Breggen, while Spratt jumps over teammate Annemiek van Fluten into third. And after a successful 13th place, Leanne Lippert remains second behind Sofia Bertisolo in the youth standings.